Hey guys, what's up? It's 277. Welcome back to Modern well, Skyblock 3 with myself and Sarah. Hi. Pick it up on the at the left ops. Hopper it, shall we? Yeah. Yeah. All right, so oh. Sarah, Sarah and I literally spent like the past, what, hour, you'd say? Yeah. Something like that. Running, jumping, and hitting each other with a pickaxe. That was at yeah. full durability, now it's at half. Uh, <laughs> to get hunger down. So you can get more hearts. Yep. Because you have to eat 50 unique food items for a heart. Every 50 items, you get a heart. And that's... Pretty annoying. Annoying. I, I, I kind of want to get into the configs and see if I can lower that to like 10. Because yeah. it's, it's just dumb. It's dumb. But it's done. <clears throat> now I have 10 hearts. Sarah's got 10 hearts. We're all back to where we should be, and now we can actually do stuff like use our sky resources, a transmuter thingy, to make things yeah, that's better. What I, that's the main thing I got it for. Yeah. It's just a, just a, it's a real big pain in the tuchus, you know? Um, so I was, I was, th I was thinking about something, okay. and I had an idea. And that idea, I know it's hard to believe, um, is the, the the storage chest is really kind of cool. Really? Really? Right? What? Hey, hey, come over here a minute. Just shift right click on that. Ow. It gave me a cactus needle. Yeah, we could have just clicked on this to lose hearts. What's just broke? It broke my pants. Anyway, what were you saying? Uh, here, I got you a bunch of needles. Thank you. Um, so, uh, the storage chest is huge. Like, an iron storage chest, a colossal chest here, is absolutely massive. Um. It's enormous. Right? Yeah. yeah. Sarah? <laughs> yes? <laughs> no! Did you fall out of the world? Yeah. You shouldn't do that, you know. Um, but what's what's kind of cool is that there's um, uh, we have RF tools in this, and we can make it. It's called a storage scanner. Okay. A machine will scan all nearby inventories and show them in a list. You can then Wait. search for all items in all, in those inventories. How? I think because you technically were still up in the sky, even though you teleported to me, so it wasn't loading properly for you until you died. Yeah, it took a while. Well, it's fine. You're you're here now. Um, so we can make a storage scanner, plonk it down like right here or something like that, and then mm -hmm. we'll pick up anything in the storage in the colossal chest here, and we'll put it on the storage scanner in like an ME system. Right, right. Okay. We also have some of these uh, spectra coils, so we can pop the spectra coils onto it to give it constant power without having to worry about batteries. Mm -hmm. And I was thinking. We could set up like the the rollers like down below here. We can set mm -hmm. them up so instead of feeding into this drawer controller down here, uh, we put the insertion hatch on the side of the colossal chest and just have a massive like system that feeds things into the colossal chest interface here. Okay. Uh, and I think that will be, uh, I think that'll be good. We can do that. Yes, well, you can. I, I will. Uh, I'm I've waiting also, on something else. Yeah. I also saw some comments in the comment section saying, uh, what you could totally do is you can do um, osmium. Osmium for uh, your your casing, which is 133% and is also max heat units of 3033. So we actually get good efficiency and super heat to replace the uh, the one for making the glowstone here. Because this thing, okay. you know, it's a fish. It's it's got the right heat unit, you know, three thousand thirty seventy two, but its efficiency is only forty eight percent. So it's kind of, kind of crap. Mm. But um, we can use the osmium casing along with the osmium heater. I think combustion heater. Yeah. Or maybe just to keep the to keep the current heater that that's in there, the um, the iron one. Uh, and that will give us uh, good speed along with good uh, heat unit. And efficiency. 
And then I had to thinking, well, I just stop there. We can do Mignolan. Mignolan heat combustion heater is 310% speed, 740% efficiency. The casing is 740% efficiency and uh, 2,324 heat units. I think glowstone only needs what one, what, 15, 16? How much do we need? Oh, 1,700 heat units. So we can do Mignolan. And I was like, well, what do we need for Mignolan? Well, let's take a look. We need, um, we need cobalt. So cobalt, alkaline chemical dust. Okay, light blue dye and glowstone. That's super easy to make. Okay, okay. ardite, ardite dust. Uh, oh, magma cream and glowstone. Easy to make. And I got 27 each of cobalt, alkaline dust, and uh, that stuff. So we can just okay. do that. We can do that. So I'm going to make... Um, Put three in here, three each of these guys. And we're gonna make some uh, cobalt and ardite. Look how cool this is, Mario. We got so many crystal shards in there. And up here, the whole crystal shards. This thing is just gonna spit out. Cobalt. Yeah, there's a piece of cobalt that's upside cool down. This is. What is that? It's a cactus on a stick. It's a cactus on a stick. Well, it's a cactus fruit on a needle. It looks, it's like glitching out like crazy. Uh, it's like they yeah. tried to take like the, the textures. Yeah. Yeah, I'm holding it. It's like the textures are on both sides, but they're not quite right. Yeah, they're just like, they're just like, mm -hmm. just as long so it's as kind of glitching you. through. It looks bizarre. It is bizarre. So this should make six of the cobalt. Once that's okay, done, I can toss in them. this. So for the cobalt and manulin, I need to make what? Manulin dust? Ow! Uh, are you okay? Great. Is it manulin blend? Why didn't no, we? we don't even have a blend, no, do we? No. So, Mignolan ingots. I need to smelt Mignolan dust or turbine rotor. Okay, how do you do that? Or I cast molten Mignolan, which means I need to smelt or alloy. Wait, what? Wait, what? Okay, that goes down. Put a needle in there. Oh, I need an alloy tank. That's what I need. Okay. Got it! Alloy tank. Uh, ceramic alloy tanks. So you need a porcelain tank and two porcelain faucets. <clears throat> Alright, let me just... There's the porcelain channel. Oh. I forgot to shift. Honey, why'd you forget to shift? You can go there because it's beat. Clay. I need clay. Do we have clay? The downstairs? Yes. Down the stairs. You're very big. Where downstairs? Oh. Uh, okay, so that, this, is porcelain. So porcelain tank. Uh, four of those. Three of those, so let's make a couple more. Boop. And then we gotta cook all these. I need some glass, and I need some other things. Ooh, terracotta's been cooked. Okay. Because then we can get the melter. Because we place the melter next to it, mm -hmm. I think. 
and we cook in, and then we can mix all that stuff up. Let's get that going. So that's one faucet. Did it get from the spruce? Oh, hey, hi. Drop more. Okay, so for the storage. Oh, oh. Thing, Bro. oh we don't know how to make that. Oh, wait, no. Wait, maybe, maybe we maybe we do have that already. Bro. Thank you. Machine casing. It's possible we might have a machine casing from RF tools kind of lying around. Possibly in the chests with all that stuff in it. Yeah, it's a reward. Is there a way to get it? Machine uh, casing? Know. I don't think it's part of the rewards. What machine casing are you looking for? Uh, it's the RF tools machine casing. I guess I can't do that yet. Uh, we can make the, the thing now if we had a machine casing, but the machine casing itself is considered an unknown, unfamiliar item, so I can't make it. But do you do you have to touch it? No. If we had one, then I could just pop it into the crafting thing. But we don't have one. Yeah. As far as I can tell. Yeah. And I don't think that you can get one from the uh, loot boxes. Couldn't tell you. So. All I know is if it was if the recipe was there, you could cheat it. But yeah. You... Recipe for the storage scanners there. Four redstone torches, two gold ingots, two ender pearls, and an unfamiliar item, aka the machine casing. Oh well. All right, I got that. Let's see my secret donut. Mmm, secret donuts. Donuts are always secret. Yeah, you can never really tell what's inside of a secret donut, you know? Mm-hmm. Okay, that needs to be planted. And Did it needs... give me six ardite as well? I should have. Sup. So I need a dark oak. Never want to gunpowder flesh. Never want to gunpowder run. Yeah. Six or eight. Okay. Never <coughs> Porcelain's done. So one two. more faucet and then one, two, three, four with the tanks. That's a gate. Uh, damn it. Made the wrong thing. Okay. Did you? Yeah, I gotta recook some more now. <laughs> now grow. I need you to grow. No, Pretty it's... fast. Thank. Hit a porcelain gauge. Which I guess is okay, but I, it's not what I need. I did it. I did it. Proud of you. Proud of me too. What did you do again? All the gardens. Oh yeah, you made all the gardens. Good job. Because we don't even need them. Well, now we don't. We can just plant one down and it'll grow on its own, right? No, we don't need them. We've, we've literally got every single food already from the crops. Oh. Make you do the crops first, and, and then ask you to get all the. And then you get the gardens that will give you more more of this crops that you've already made. Yeah. Well, that's kind of backwards. Yeah. You think like you do the gardens so you can get the majority of the crops that you can get from the gardens, and then exact crossbreed what you have to get the remainder of the crops. But no. It was the other way around. Well, whatever. Oh. Ah, uh, one more brick. One last brick. In case you can go in there because we don't need it. Okay. There's the tank. And now I do this and that. And I make the alloy tank. 
So if I place the alloy tank here, and if I put in my cobalt to cook, it should melt the cobalt down and then put that into the tank. And I think if I take the faucet and this casting table here. Oh, oh, there's a there's a slight hitch in this plan. Oh, we need uh, aluminum and copper. Cause I need to make an alloy. I need to make a uh, a thing. Hold on. Don't don't use that. Put that there. Uh, do you have aluminum and copper? You have copper. I know that for sure. I'm not too sure about aluminum. Well, let's check. Uh, okay, we got tungsteel, platinum, chrome, titanium, copper, and three aluminum. Perfect. And also a piece of clay. Oh, a brick. There's a brick. So if I mix... Hopefully okay. this works. Aluminum in there. Turkey, turkey, turkey. Okay, how? Let's see that. Soy. Uses. Press. So I need. I can make the press now. Yay! I couldn't make the press. I had so much soybeans, and I couldn't make the press. Well, that's no good. Okay, let's try this then. No, no, no. Will that work? How do you, how do you translate? Hold on. What? Uh, alloy tank. Oh, I need to have a full setup, do I? No idea. Don't know what you're talking about. Place above porcelain heater. Okay, I need more porcelain bricks. Damn it. Alright. Porcelain bricks? You should have them. Unless you took them. I didn't see any more in here. I'm sure there was more. I made some. There's porcelain channels. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna check downstairs. Maybe there's some. Oh, there's there's no there's someone here. Have you got it? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes. I, I thought there was more. Yeah, it's in the system. It's in the the wall down here. Ah. There, porcelain heater. Fuels the melter and alloy tank using solid fuels. Okay, so let's grab okay. some spare charcoal. Okay, let's see. Okay, so does this now mean I can do it? Hold on. <clears throat> I might have to look this up to see what's going on. Okay. Because I would assume that you get... I mean, I have a I have a molten aluminum now, right? right? And it says it this says the porcelain alloy tank. Do I do I literally have to have it be too independent? I think it is. I think that's it. I think that's the problem. Okay. That's the you problem. You got it all sorted. I think so. I don't know. I've never messed with a melter. I've always gone straight to smeltery. Yeah, me too. 
Because the only thing I could think is that I need to take two different heat, uh, melters. Mm -hmm. And then one on the other side of this thing, and then I melt uh, aluminum in one, and then copper in the other, and then they'll join into aluminum brass in the center. Is that is that right? Is that right? I, yeah. I guess I need six more. Ten. And a porcelain gauge. So I need ten more porcelain. I got eight. I think that's it. That's what I got to do. Cook that. <laughs> Okay, so that, 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 that. And then the glass in the center. There's your gauge. And then one, two, three, four. Where's there? Five, six makes the melter. Okay. And then we put the the, that's a brick in there. We put the copper in here. And let's get a bucket of lava from there to there. So that's now heating up. And then we put our thing here. Okay, so see this works. We got three, mol three molten aluminum and one <coughs> copper is now being melted. It's not working. Okay. Why? I gotta look it up. I, I gotta look it up. This is just getting frustrating. Um, okay, I'm gonna look it up, and uh, in the next episode, I'll have it fixed, and we all good to go. Yay! Uh, so that's a wrap here for now. So, thank you all for joining us for this episode of Modern Skyblock 3 with myself and Sarah. If you are new to either of our channels, hit the subscribe button, leave a like, leave a comment, let's see the kind of thing. Uh, as always, I want to give a huge shout out to our sponsors, Host Havoc. If you're looking for quality Minecraft servers and more, go check out Host Havoc in the description down below. Be sure to use reference links to know who has the as of us fans. It's clearly us. And uh, don't forget, guys, if you want to help support us and help make more and better content, be sure to check out our Patreon offerings. Uh, we have a Patreon set up with a number of Minecraft servers that we all play on, we record on. Uh, it's a lot of fun, a lot of cool stuff going on over there. Uh, we also have a Patreon Discord where people get to hang out on and shoot the breeze and throw memes at each other. And it's super fun. Uh, and so you should totally check it out. And uh, once again, guys, thank you for joining us. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye-bye. I want to give a special shout-out to my patrons for the support, including Speed Plays, King Death Bacon, Death Boy, The Crimson Crow, Day DKC Art, Q Lichen, Dougie Fresh, Ninja Punk Jess, Lil Beautiful, Chemney, Kevin R, Craft Star, King Jack O' Lantern, Cosmic Wolf, Rogue Deity, Zionix, Oresteria, D Bo, Andy89, IG Scars, Tatiana, and everyone else who supports me, you all are awesome.